is take a kick sample, which is how we survey our rivers. And then I can show you what lives in here. So I'm stepping in nice and carefully. I've got my net, which I'm going to put just a little bit downstream of me on the ground. And what I'm going to do is just gently kick the gravels. And the idea is that anything that's living underneath those stones and rocks will be washed into my net. And we will be able to place this into the white tray. And then we'll be able to have a look and see what you'll find in a chalk river. So I've just come in from doing a stream dip over in my local stream across the road which is a lovely chalk stream, the Wallop Brook. It got very, very windy outside, so I thought I'd bring the tray in here to have a look and see what we found. Now, although it's only just February, you can see that this tray is absolutely full of life. So there, there's a wide range of freshwater invertebrates in here, some of which are quite characteristic of chalk streams. So I put one or two of the slightly more interesting creatures into this smaller tray here for us to have a little look at. So I have a plastic spoon here so we can have a quick look at one or two of these creatures. So this one here is the mayfly which most people have heard of, this one on my spoon right now. So this is the burrowing mayfly, ephemera danica, um, and it's got a fascinating life cycle. It lives in the water for up to two years as a nymph and then it will come out of the water and shed its skin and initially it will become a sub-adult and that's unique in the insect world. So in that stage it needs to sit on a leaf near to the water and dry out and shed its skin another time to become the full adult. And the full adult only lives for a day so they don't have even a mouth because they don't need to feed. All they're doing is mating and laying their eggs on the water and then they will die. So fascinating, the larval stage in the water for a couple of years, but the adult stage just has one day to lay its eggs. So a really interesting creature and very, very characteristic of chalk streams. And those particular larger mayflies all tend to hatch around about the end of May, beginning of June on a nice warm still evening and if you do catch that it's quite a spectacle with them all raising up out of the water, rising up out of the water at once. There are other species of mayfly which will come out of the water at different times of the year and those ones tend to be a little bit smaller. Now what else have we got in here? We've also got some caddisfly, so caddisfly larvae, so these creatures here these are cased caddisfly and they will use the gravel which you can see on the stream bed to build a case for themselves. They use a sort of sticky slivery substance to stick these stones together to make a tube and they will live inside and it provides really great protection and very very good camouflage. Now different species of caddisfly will build this in slightly different ways using different materials some will use plant materials and bits of wood. Some will stick the stones together in a beautiful, careful mosaic. Others will stick very big stones together in what seems like a bit of a random pattern. It's a really, really fascinating creature. And the adult stage of the caddis fly looks a little bit like a moth, but again, it spends its time flying on land, so not in the water as the larval stage does. So what I'll do is zoom in. So we can have a little look at some of these. So there are a pair of freshwater shrimps, a male and a female, just there together. And then next to those, you can see the mayfly nymph, which we were talking about. There it is there. So if you look closely, you can see it's got three tails. And you can also see those gills moving on its back. So this tells us that this mayfly nymph needs nice, clean, well oxygenated water in which to breathe. So this is a good sign, if we see one of these, that we've got a nice, healthy ecosystem. Mm -hmm.